If you look at a lot of ERP projects going live, their biggest problems come from data that they migrated across. Creating new data, initially, it's, it's a case of people learning how to use the system. And psychologically, if there's a thing that you have to get up and do every day, you will struggle for the first few times, but eventually you'll start getting used to it. It's data that you take in from the old systems that is not compliant, and you have to do a lot of different manual interventions or manipulations to make it work that actually slows down adoption and stabilization immediately after go live. This is also what dictates the first impressions of your solution once you've gone live. If people can't use it, then people are likely to find other ways of getting the same work done. That's where new Excel spreadsheets and Word documents and PowerPoints start coming in. And even right from the start, you've compromised on adoption. And that then dilutes all the benefits. So in my experience, if you treat data as a business proposition and have data as a discussion point at your governance forums, especially the steering group, some of the most successful ERP implementations I've seen have had data at the steering group. They've had data as a sponsor conversation. Uh, sure, we don't discuss you know, individual records and all of that technical detail, but we do discuss what's the readiness of data. People readiness is one thing. Data is the other one. If you make that a business proposition, a, a topic of business importance, people will get involved. People will do the cleansing. It's not glamorous work. Cleansing data or making it ready for migration is not glamorous work. But at the end of the day, it's data that actually dictates how well your system's adopted.